Uh, talk to me a little bit about the uh, the difference between like a commercial grade soap and a sort of a artisan soap. Most of the commercial grade soaps that you buy in the store, uh, they don't call themselves soap. So, for example, there's a leading brand that calls itself a moisturizing bar. Mm -hmm. That's code. They use these different words because they're not a soap. They're a detergent bar. And most people have gotten wise to that, and that's why they shop in health food stores or why they buy uh, natural soaps or why they're buying artisan soaps. And there are a couple in the valley of um, soap companies, and you can trust them. You can buy their soaps and know that you're getting a natural soap. Uh, what you buy from a big brand name company is actually a detergent bar. And the difference there is a detergent bar, uh, detergent bars were invented right around World War II. Um, and that was a great invention. They were great inventions because we needed them um, right around the end of World War II um, as a boon to the textile industry. They came about because we needed something to wash all the soldiers uniforms. There was a big problem. We needed to conserve our resources. We needed to save water. Um, we needed to save animal fat. We, we had to preserve our resources in food, in oils. We couldn't be running around making soap out of all these things that we needed to use to feed people. And so it was a good idea. Detergent bars had their place. They could be used in cold water. They could be used to wash clothing. Um, they protected um, our ability to use our resources in the place where they mattered most. We were at war. So scientists got together and they created these detergent bars. And it was a fantastic invention. We can clean our houses now. Our pipes don't get gunked up with soap residue. Our clothes can be washed in cold water. We save hot water. We save energy. It was a great invention. Don't get me wrong. But the things that take all the oils off our clothes and all the oils off our cars and all the oils off our machinery should not be used on our bodies. Because when you strip all the oil off your body, you need 10 more things. You need conditioner to put oil back in your hair. You need lotion to put oil back on your body. Now that's great for all those big companies that are making shampoo and conditioner and lotion. But if you stop for a second and think about where your money's going, you're going to ask yourself, do I want one simple product to wash myself so that I don't have to worry about buying 10 more products and then I can use the money to feed my family or to take care of my home? Or do I want to keep supporting an industry that keeps doing me wrong? So if you just stop for a second and think, will a three or five dollar bar of soap do everything I need it to do? Or do I need to buy, you know, $25 worth of soap, shampoo, conditioner, lotion, you know, body wash, so when a person's using a custom, uh, an artisan soap, basically they're uh, uh, getting all the uh, uh, extra nutrients and stuff the way they have, so they'll basically defray the cost by not having to spend on the other end. Yeah. Okay, great.